Hello, I'm Chris Wu, and I'm product lead for Invest in Open Infrastructure. Our organization's mission is to increase the investment in and adoption of open infrastructure to further equitable access and participation to research. For open knowledge to flourish, our systems need to be similarly designed. Our work seeks to advance a vision where open infrastructure is the default in research and scholarship. We accomplish these goals through three pillars of work. We employ a research-driven approach to guide strategies and action designed to increase adoption of and investment in open infrastructure. We provide resources and analysis to help funders and budget holders assess, evaluate, and make investment decisions about open infrastructure. We pilot solutions and coordinate stakeholders to increase the sustainability of the sector to further a shared agenda for making open infrastructure the default in research. In practice, this means we do catalytic investment, which increases the amount of funding and diversity of those investing in open infrastructure to ensure we're building toward a healthy, resilient, sustainable future for research and scholarship. We offer strategic support, which is tailored engagement with providers, funders, and institutions to implement IOA research recommendations and further adoption of an open infrastructure. We have a data room actionable and accessible research and strategy offerings that institutions and funders can utilize and rely upon to guide their investment. Open infrastructure can advance open values, is customizable, and can be adapted as needs grow, but their adoption is trailing their competitors. How can we increase the adoption of open infrastructure? We've been building on previous work by colleagues in this space, as well as our own research and learnings from a prototype tool released in January 2022 called the Catalog of Open Infrastructure Services. The tool was designed to provide accessible, comprehensive, and actionable information for funders, users, and other stakeholders to support decision-making about funding, adoption, and usage of open infrastructure services. Among the things we learned from that experience was that we needed to find a scale scalable, tightly scoped problem to solve for a specific set of users. So for our latest round of development, we were looking for something high, with high user value that could produce an outsized effect. We also knew that this kind of product needed to be created in collaboration with this potential community of users. We wanted those who needed this tool to participate actively in co-creating our products research and services to ensure that we were developing the right thing. Work on a new tool comes at an interesting time for open infrastructure. The Nelson Memo and the UNESCO recommendation of open science both prompted changes to recommendations and policies around the tools used to conduct and share research. So we've arrived at our target audience, institutional decision makers, repository managers who are choosing which technology to use for their institutional repository, and library publishing system teams choosing publishing software for their press. We're choosing this group because your decisions have big impacts. Institutional decision makers influence the infrastructure that researchers in your institutions use. We've also been working with you for a long time, since our founding, and we want to continue building on our relationship with you. Through focus group inter conversations and institutional decision with institutional decision makers, we've developed a series of insights. Key learnings indicated that finding the right infrastructure is a hard and slow process. While there were many considerations to balance, we discovered that in particular, information re related to pragmatism mo matters most overall. This included anything related to costs, de-risking the purchase, dependencies and interoperability, and can this infrastructure further the aim of openness, which includes equitable access? This is our, on our understanding of the problem for institutional decision makers. There is scattered information across various parts of infrastructure websites and fora. There are different requirements and needs for different institutions and stakeholders. It is time consuming to pull together comparisons to identify best options. Based on our understanding, we'd like to introduce our new tool called InfraFinder. We think three things are key to addressing the problem and increasing the adoption of open infrastructure at an institutional level. Providing up-to-date verified information, putting key information in a centralized location, and providing an easy-to-use comparison view. Through launching InfraFinder, we hope to test our hypothesis that creating a tool that eases the process of evaluation, coupled with a growing list of tools and services, can help institutions like the ones you are part of more readily understand what open options are available. Let me give you a preview of InfraFinder. A caveat, the design front end and back end are still being worked on and it's currently a bit buggy. That said, we are excited to be sharing this preview of our work in progress with you.
All right. This is an example of a page for a particular infrastructure or service. You can see that we've collected information on several areas, mission and key achievements, technical attributes, community engagements, policies, additional information, and funding needs. These are some areas that the ones, uh, these are some of the areas we've identified as being important for institutional decision makers when they choose which service to adopt. The black buttons are links out to the corresponding web pages where the information exists. So users don't have to hunt for those pieces of info one by one across various websites. We invited 84 service providers to participate and received responses from 50, 57 services in the form of survey data. This enabled us to populate our database with information that institutional decision makers are seeking. To ensure that the information is up to date, we work with the service providers directly. When we invite a provider to participate in InfraFinder, they are able to give us information that goes through an internal validation process where you check against available public, public records where available before be, uh, displaying the information within InfraFinder. We also have a mechanism for providers to update this information. This process is designed to ensure that the best, uh, to the best of our ability, that the information in InfraFinder is up to date and validated. This is our comparison view. Users can select up to three services to compare. Then, once they pick the services, they will see uh, this information side, uh, this side by side comparison, so they know which example, or for example, which infrastructure services have community contributions guidelines and which don't yet. InfraFinder is still in development, and we're aiming for a first release in a few months. The point of that release is to measure and test utility, to see if what we understood to be important to users is right, and to collect in additional feedback and data. From there, we'll look at what we've learned in order to build ideas to test for our next release. So your feedback and questions are really valuable and crucial to help this product grow. I'd love to learn from you all. Thank you. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter to hear more about IOI's work and to be alerted once InfraFinder goes live. Should you have any thoughts or questions, do send us an email to engagement at investinopen.org. We look forward to hearing from you.